good morning children welcome back to the science class children one of the important characteristics of living beings is growth we all know that all living beings grow now how does this growth occur multicellular organisms they grow by addition of new cells you will be surprised that all multicellular organisms also arise from one single cell now these new cells they arise from the existing cells means they are produced from the cells which are already present this is done by a process called cell division once a cell reaches a certain size it divides into two by a process called cell division cells formed by this division they again grow they differentiate and they perform different functions cell division is mainly of two types mitosis and meiosis this you will learn in your senior classes growth takes place by mitotic division in this the number of chromosomes in the nucleus remain the same all the somatic cells ex somatic cells means the cells except the reproductive cells they divide by mitotic division and addition of new cells makes an organism grow growth is different in plants and animals plants continue to grow throughout their lifetime most of the plants grow by cell elongation means the cell becomes longer growth in plants occurs only in certain tissues these are specialized growth tissues you will learn about them in class 9 many plant cells retain their ability to differentiate into any cell type that is why we can grow plants by cuttings also but this is not possible in animals in animals growth occurs till a certain age then the damaged tissues are also replaced by cell division new cells grow every day in our body in the skin cells because when the skin dead cells they are scaled off and new cells are growing cell division in unicellular organism leads to reproduction here you can see amoeba amoeba is a unicellular organism in which when the cell divides you can see how the cell is dividing the nucleus first divides into two then the cytoplasm divides and you get two daughter cells means two new amoeba again these grow and they will also divide to form new amoeba okay so in unicellular organism cell division means reproduction maybe the cell divides one time or multiple division also may take place so children this is all about growth and one more topic we will be discussing in the next video that is prokaryotic and eukaryotic cells that is not in your book but we have it in our course till then thanks for watching keep learning